Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the Apple Watch SE. It's been out for a little while. I've had it for quite some time. We're gonna help you decide whether or not it is worth buying. So first things first, just like every Apple Watch that has come before it, it has amazing build quality that not only looks great, but stands the test of time. It has the colors that you're familiar with, but also new colors like Midnight. And it's the same old great looking design that we all know and love. To give an idea of the build quality, it has water resistance up to 50 meters, which if you're somebody like me, it just means it's gonna be good for the day-to-day -day rain, sweat, whatever you've got going on. And the one thing that did stand out to me was the new button. I just found it a little bit more clicky and tactile than some of the other app watches before, which is obviously great. As for the screen, I opted for the 40 millimeter version, which normally on paper sounds like not the biggest. It's obviously not small, but it's still not as big as some of the other Apple sizes like 42 mils. But because of how the screen is built, because of the higher quality, and because of how small those bezels are, it actually feels way bigger than it actually is. Compared to an Apple Watch Series 3, it feels miles bigger, despite being similar in size. It's definitely not edge to edge like the Series 8, but for you know an entry level smartwatch, it's completely fantastic. It's got a thousand nits of brightness, which no matter the circumstance or situation, feels extremely bright and clear. The combination of the fantastic build and great screen really made me love this watch, especially when you consider that it's one of the more entry level watches. But more on that later. Now as for the chip, this watch comes with the brand new S8 chip the same one that you can find in the Apple Watch Series 8. It's 20% faster than the previous chip, and when you compare that to something like the Series 3, something that I've been using as my everyday watch, it's a complete night and day difference. See, I'm coming from an Apple Watch Series 3, and though it gets the job done, it definitely shows its age, like, really bad. You can still pretty much do everything with it, just a lot slower. When I first got the watch, I was actually super surprised. The new chip felt instantly way faster than my Series 3, and I noticed it when opening apps, having a ton of things running in the background, it just overall made the watch so much easier to use and made my experience better. The S8 chip is legit. Speaking of what's legit on this watch, next is the battery life. Now this was one of those things that actually made me love this watch, hands down, no questions. See, previously, I always had to like plan things out and strategize to make the most of my old Series 3 battery life. And you know, when I do so, I'd be able to stretch the battery life and kind of be able to use it 24 seven. For example, letting the watch charge while I shower. <laughs> but guys, with this watch, all of that pretty much went out the window. See, it claims to have an 18 hour battery life, but honestly what I found is that if you at least charge it once within like a 48 hour span, and I'm not talking like, you know, charge it overnight, like literally for an hour or two, if you're able to do that within a 48 hour window, you can make this watch last pretty much forever. That's the great thing about these new watches, they charge super fast and then the battery is so efficient that it takes super long to kill, even when you're using it for things like fitness, checking notifications, telling time, obviously like, you know, regular watch. Now, obviously never having to ever think about charging or anything like that is something that's probably not gonna go away, but the whole mental game of having to strategize and figure out a plan in order to make this watch last forever is something that I no longer thought about. And just whenever I had a chance, I throw it on the charger and then that was that. It was good for the rest of the day. And it's that, it's the reliability consistently that just really sets it apart from older watches like the Series 3. Now, in terms of extra added features that this watch bring, it had things like heart rate notifications, uh, emergency SOS, and even crash detection. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't test this feature. And hopefully, I never have to, because then I'd have to like get into a car accident, shit like that. I don't have any... Oh my god! Oh jeez, oh my god! Oh, you know what, maybe one day it'll come in handy, but for now, I think it was, I think it was just marketing. Now, in terms of practicality, the day-to-day -day use, the upgrades in this watch, like the faster chip, the better battery life, all made the daily use way easier for me, right? Things like tracking sleep, because I knew that the battery was gonna last pretty much forever. It was something that I didn't have to think twice about. And then obviously the day-to-day -day of actually using it, especially when I'm in the gym or anything like that, it was so much faster and snappier to use. And I could spend less time thinking about playing with my watch and more time actually doing what I'm supposed to do. Plain and simple, this watch just checks all the boxes. So I guess the main question is for $329, do I think it's worth it? Who's texting me? 
100% if you have an Apple Watch already or if you're looking to upgrade, this is definitely the one to get. It is just so much value packed into such a small product that you're not really missing out on things that the Apple Watch Ultra or even the Series 8 at that really bring. Unless you're a deep sea diver, but you probably already knew that you're gonna get the Apple Watch Ultra, so I don't really know why you're watching this. But you made it to the end, so subscribe.